G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and welcome back to Neverland. And this place is starting to look pretty enough that I can run around in my shaders. Bobbit has done so much work here, he's moved all our dodgy starter farms. Well, not all of our dodgy starter farms, I've still got my one over there, which I should probably take down pretty soon. He's moved them all over here and made them look nice and pretty. So yeah, we're we're nearly on the way to actually just building all the all the pretty stuff and making a, a cool little island. But I still have a lot of work to do downstairs before I can get on to that. I've got to finish the villager trading hall. It is still a bit of a mess. And then you would think that I would probably come over here and start helping Bob it, but uh I'm not going to. I might help to help out with a few custom trees or something. Uh, but I have a huge, huge job to do. So this is just our, our little starter area. We're just on a tiny little island here. But over the, the top of this hill is the main island. And that island is absolutely massive. Okay, just to give you an idea of the scale of this island, I've opened up a copy of the seed in Creative and just look at it it is absolutely massive and we're intending to transform this entire thing so my plan for doing that because there is so much room here to to fill up is uh, you can see right in the middle of the island here the ground sort of raises up a bit i am going to take that to a whole new level i am going to build a massive mountain right in the middle of this island and inside of that mountain is where I'm going to put my new base. So one thing I really don't like about Mushroom Islands is when they reach the water, they tend to be super steep and then they just drop straight down. So what I want to do to make this look more like an island is I want to put in a bunch of beaches. So over there, I would probably have a cliff face, but then in an area like this, I want to clear out all of this earth, put down some sand and make it look super pretty. And I can use all of that that, that dirt and stone to make my mountain. Uh, but for that, I am first I'm going to need some better tools than this, so I'm going to have to do some villager trading, but I'm also going to need a beacon. You know, when Bobbit told me about the, uh, the teepees, I, I didn't think it would look that good, but I tell you what, I really love the way he's done it. It's so simple, but I think it's the scale of it. It's just so tall and, and imposing. I think it looks really awesome. So let's check out what the base looks like in shaders. Now, Bobbit keeps leaving that trapdoor open. And even though we're on a mushroom island, things are walking out the lush caves. So I'm a bit terrified a zombie is going to come down. So I've got to fix up the entrance to this place. Uh, so first I'm going to finish the trading hall. At least uh, I might not finish the floor and the ceiling, but I want to have it all up and running. Then we'll get training, we'll get geared up properly, and then we're going hunting with our skeletons. Okay, we are in luck. Bass Hound knows where a nether fortress is, so we don't have to waste time searching around. All right, here we are. And I just realized I don't have a shield. Okay. We're in. Let's get started. Yeah, I figure all the chests will be raided. This is not as safe as it could be. Oh wow! That actually hasn't been raided! Uh, I must be the first person to actually explore this thing entirely. Ooh! Skull! Awesome! That was only skelly number 8 or 9. That was pretty quick! And now I'm worried about piglins because I just realized I'm not wearing any gold armor. Ah! Come dude. What? Oh, I thought there was a dude behind me. How did he get me? Skull! Yes! Okay, okay. We, we got off to a good start, but that has taken me forever to get the second one. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Pigman! Ah! Hear the piglin! Okay, okay. Run. I did. Let's block this off. Block this off. I... Did I even hit him, or did the skeleton shoot him? I have no idea, but either way, I'm going to stay here for a while. Oh, is that a skull? Was that a skull? Uh, let's check. I think it was. Yes. Oh, finally. Finally, I have been in here forever. Out of the way, dude. What? 
<laughs> Check this out. This is the exit. This is where I came in. I was just on my way out and I got skull number four. How awesome is that? And, oh goodness, I thought I would get away with not encountering a, a piglin, but, uh, yep, he hates me. Come on, dude. Oh, I wish I had my shield. All right, let's just get him. Uh, he wasn't so tough. Okay, we made it back. It got a little bit hectic toward the end there, so uh, it didn't help me smashing a pigman in the face. That could have gone pretty bad, but we're still on zero deaths, and that's what I like. I don't like to die in this game, so it's probably only a matter of time before all of the other players come to try and get my head. I hope not. But uh, that actually took me two whole days to get ready to get all my armor enchanted because I was a little bit busy in here doing a bit of building. So you can pretty much ignore all the mossy cobblestone up the back here. I'm just experimenting with different ideas. And that's probably why this thing took me so long to build because I, I didn't have a plan. So I was just experimenting, building things and ripping it out. Like originally this floor had all Mayan patterns in it and it was just a little bit too busy. So instead I just went for these patterns on the beams and I thought I would leave it at that. And I don't like to be too busy in my underground builds anyway. So that's probably why I won't keep all that cobblestone. And it's why I've got a bit of a plain roof, but I will pattern that up a little bit later on. But I think this is looking good. It's sort of goes along with that Mayan sort of theme I was aiming for. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. I love all these new tough blocks. So we've got the enchanting table in the ceiling. That's my favorite place to put it. Let's get the armor back on. Gee whiz. So yeah, it looks pretty good up there. And we've got tons and tons of villagers. So we've got pretty much every trade that I want except for Frostwalker. I like to have Frostwalker for my nether boots. So I finally got some gold armor. I should have figured that out beforehand. So I got my golden boots there. I'll put Frostwalker on that. And then I can walk on, uh, on the magma blocks. And we've got a new way in and out. So I've just got a little water elevator here. Takes me up to one of Bobbit's new teepees that he's building. And then the way back in. I've, I've rigged it so Bobbit can't leave the trapdoor open anymore. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. I just need to do all the, the walls behind the villages. That's still all plain stone. But then this place will be pretty much done. So I've got my Wither Skeleton Skulls ready to go. So if Bobbit was here, I would probably suggest going down into a cave and fighting the Wither with him. Uh, but the best way to do it is in the end. And I actually know that some of the guys have already killed the dragon because I, I saw all the achievements when they were going to the end city. So I'm pretty sure the dragon's dead unless they respawned it for the rest of us. Um, but I have no idea where the, uh, the stronghold is. So I could either ask in chat and just go to one of theirs or I could... Now I've got tons of blaze rods. I could just make a bunch of ender pearl. What are they called? Eyes of Ender. That's what they're called. Yeah, I can make a bunch of Eyes of Ender and just go find it myself. I might even find a new one. There could be one close here. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's go find a stronghold. Okay, I guess the bonus of this is that I don't have as far down to dig. I can just swim most of the way there. Yes. Okay. Go away, dude. Ooh, cool. Silverfish head. We will get rid of you. Okay, let's get set up. And it looks like there is no dragon. Okay, we're good. Uh, that is an Enderman farm already. Uh, I, I heard in the chat that uh, whoever built that is not taking responsibility if you misuse it and get yourself killed. So I don't think I'm going down there. All right, I'm probably standing a little bit too far back here, but might as well be safe. Yes, this won't be a problem. Alrighty, we have a beacon. Let's go set this up and build some beaches.
Check it out, guys. We have wings, and I didn't even have to go get them myself. Bobbit just gave them to me. That's really cool. And I've also got a bunch of rockets. I had to buy them, but that's okay. We are looking pretty good. And it has actually been about a week and a half or two weeks since I killed the Wither. I've just been playing with the guys on the server, having lots of fun, and I've done a lot of work. So you might notice the storage room has changed a little bit. So because I gave up so much storage space to all the iron, I, I just didn't have enough. So down below here, I've got all these barrels and they are actually linked up to the automatic sorting system. And it's a really cool design. I'll link it in the video description and uh, you can get the tutorial for it. But this is sort of how it works. So all the machinery for it is actually underneath the barrel. That's how I was able to fit it in here. So basically you'll put an item in here and it'll go into the bottom dropper and it powers it up into the top dropper and then it sends it across into this one and it has a hopper underneath. But because it's getting powered so fast, the item will actually shoot up rather than go down to the hopper. But if we put a chest or a barrel on top and we fill up every single slot of this so there's no room for it to go in this time when you send it across it'll try and enter the barrel but it can't and it'll go down here into the next system and it'll just continue along like that so it's a pretty cool system and we'll chuck the shaders back on it's well and truly bright enough in here to use the shaders so we've got a lot more villagers now. So I've got some guys up there as well. So we're using every single section. This is pretty cool actually. I've got these sections connected up the back so they can just walk around. So when I want to put guys over there, I'll just throw down a workstation here, let a few in. And when they get to here, I'll just throw another workstation down there. And yeah, they move themselves. It's been really easy. But let's go upstairs because there's a bit more done up there. So you'll notice Bobbit has completed this TP and we've actually got three TPs now. So that's for the nether portal, the iron farm and the storage room trading hall. And Bobbit has also made us a nice honey farm over here. So that's pretty cool. But let's fly up and look at our beach. And this beach is not very far away at all. So I think it looks pretty cool. It took a long, long time though, because I had to continue the sand down into the water to make it look a bit more realistic. And I've opted for moss blocks instead of grass because I thought this would be easier because all you have to do is put down a single moss block and then bone meal it and it converts everything for you. But it made so many bushes and things that I had to then go through and clear all of those out. But uh, yeah, I think it does look good because the grass on a mushroom island is so, so vibrant. I think it just would have made all of this not look as realistic. But uh, yeah, this is more like the normal color of grass now. But uh, we will use grass in some spots. This is Neverland after all, so there will be some fairy areas where you know really vibrant grass would look pretty good. But uh, I told you I've been working in this world for a couple of weeks. I haven't done just that. I went round the corner and started making a new beach. And I actually got just a tiny bit carried away. So this all came about because I was having trouble getting the curve of this beach just right. And I thought I needed to split it up into two beaches. So I built a little rocky outcrop there and put the beaches in and then I thought this is Neverland I can't just have a tiny little rocky outcrop let's go something a little bit bigger and I built that monstrosity and then I just thought well it uh, it looks a bit weird this big thing all by itself so I just kept decorating so I've changed the way I've done the beaches here so I'm using smooth sandstone slabs as well to get a nice little gradient and then just around the edges, I've done a bit of shading. So this is supposed to be not necessarily wet sand, but sand that's got a lot of little, little shells and things mixed up in it. So it's a little bit darker. So I've got another one of those shading things up the other end. And over here, we've got a, a broken down ship. So this is from a long, long time ago and just a small one. So I think it looks pretty cool. 
And we couldn't have a beach without lots and lots of palm trees. So I've got four of them in there at the moment. And we're using the cocoa beans for the uh, coconuts. And I've actually hidden just up in the top of each of them a little glowberry. You can sort of see it at some angles, but it just lights it up a tiny bit. And I think it looks super duper cool. They do look nice, these. They're actually so realistic that they started dropping real coconuts. Check that out. Couldn't believe it when I saw them. That's amazing. And over here, we have a castaway. So this guy is uh, has been shipwrecked here. So that's not his ship. This guy actually came floating in, clinging to the mast of his ship. So you can see there's the mast. So he's put it in the ground and it's uh, he's just using it to pitch his tent. So stuck in the ground there. He's got another log lying off it and he's just hung the ship's sail over the top to make a nice little makeshift tent. I think it looks really nice. So he's uh, he's got himself set up with a bit of wood and a campfire. He's got a bed in here. He's using snow for a pillow. I think I would find that uncomfortable, but he seems to like it. And I guess he'll just hang out here until he's rescued. That shell just washed up on the beach. I told you this is realistic. All this stuff just keeps happening. So I don't know if I'll go to this amount of detail for every single beach. But uh, this is generally the plan that I'm going to do this around the entire island. So around here I've been, oh gosh, I've been clearing out so, so much area here. I might give you a bit of a before and after shot so you can get a bit of an idea of how much I've cleared out. And uh, yeah, I've still got a lot of the beach to put in, but this has given me so, so many materials. And I've been putting those materials to good use. So as soon as I dig them out, I've been coming over here and building my mountain. So I didn't want Bobbit to inadvertently build something that will be covered up by the mountain. So I had to get this in early and that's why I've been playing for a couple of weeks. So I put a line of moss all the way around so Bobbit would easily see where the mountain was. And it is... It is big, guys. Look at it. It goes all the way around. You can't even see the other side of it. It is so huge. So we can, we can have a lot of room in here for the base. And it's taking a long time because I didn't want to do just a single layer of earth because then we might come along and decorate something and fall through the hole. So I'm always doing it three blocks deep. So it is it is taking a ton of materials. But let's get... A bit of an aerial view. I don't think the render distance is even big enough to see it all, but that is the outline of it. Goes all the way around here. It's going to be super duper cool. So I want to start coming up gradually, and then in the end we'll go up to a big, a big spike. Oh, cool! I've got a bit more dirt in here. I'm running out of dirt at the moment, but uh, yeah, I can't use the stone yet because I'm saving that for the top of the mountain. Uh, anyway, guys, I think we might leave it here. And I'm going to give the beach building a rest for a little bit because about a week ago, I promised Bobbit a creeper farm so we could make our own rockets. And I haven't even started. So I've got to go down into the lush caves and find a suitable spot where I can build it because the creepers will spawn in there. And that will be nice. And I just realized that was a silly spot to do the outro. We should be doing it on the nice pretty beach. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cortez Reno, and I'll see you next time.